Hi, I'm Neil Weichel with Remax, and this message is for buyers that are thinking about purchasing in this market. And, you know, there's a lot of confusion about the different types of homes that are available out there, and I thought I'd just send you a quick message that might be helpful to illustrate the three types of homes that you can purchase. Now, the three types of homes are what we call a standard sale or a regular sale, a bank owned or a foreclosure property, and the third type is a short sale. Now let's talk about a standard or regular sale. I've sold real estate for over 20 years, and the majority of those 20 years, all we did was really standard sales. A family wants to sell their home, you take a look at it, you like it, you make an offer, the seller says yes or no, you negotiate, you open an escrow. Very clean, very easy, standard sale. In today's market, there are about 35% of the transactions that occur. The next is a bank-owned property. Now, a lot of times, buyers confuse bank-owned or foreclosure properties, also known as REOs, with short sales. They are completely different. In the situation with a foreclosure, the bank owns it. You can make an offer on it, and they can typically answer your offer within three to five business days, and you can open an escrow. With a bank-owned property, they're sold as is, meaning the bank almost never is going to do any repairs, so you have to factor that in as you're making your offer. It's also very common with bank-owned properties that there's multiple people interested, especially in the lower price ranges. So make sure you have a great realtor that's helping you guide and advise you through this process so you know what's happening. So regular sale, foreclosure sale, pretty easy to buy. That leaves a short sale. 40% of all homes that close escrow in the Santa Clarita Valley are short sales. And the joke, of course, is that they should be called long sales, right? Because getting an answer takes so long. Let's just explain very quickly that a short sale, the seller signs your offer, but the bank approves it. So it's really like having two different sellers to deal with. And that's what makes it complicated. Because a lot of times your offer is acceptable to the seller, but it's not acceptable to the bank. So, Again, critical to have a good real estate agent advising you about the situation with the short sale. We should pre-qualify the situation by asking good questions. Here's what I mean. Before even looking at the property, your agent should ask the listing agent, how many loans are on this property? Has the seller had any offers? Has the bank approved any prices so far? Where are you in the approval process? How long might it take to get an approval? All of these are questions you should know before you even get involved in a short sale. But if the answers are good and you like the property, absolutely no reason not to pursue that property and have a very successful purchasing experience. So, three types of properties. Regular sale, pretty easy to buy. Bank owned or foreclosure sale, also pretty easy to buy. It takes a couple extra days to get an answer to your offer. And then lastly, the short sale, which is a completely different animal, but handled properly can be a satisfying buying experience. Appreciate you listening to this message. If you have any questions, we'd welcome your phone call.